Oh yeah, I got you. Yeah. All right, so we've got a camera cameraman here today. So I'm lucky. Um, what we're going to be doing is really, really quick. Normally I wouldn't do this when it's uh, raining out, but um, it's going to be super quick, and the rain actually helps us. So um, this truck was in a shop for well several weeks because it had to get some paint work done. And when a car is in a shop, a lot of times overspray and contaminants and stuff get on everywhere. The paint, the trim, the wind windshield, but specifically. Uh, you have an issue with the windshield because you look out through the windshield every single day you drive it. So we're just going to do, this is a nano skin auto scrub. This is a medium grade pad. I have some clay lubricant. So you can use car soap, you can use water and car soap. You can pretty much use anything that doesn't have any crazy. You can use detail spray I and mean, you can use all kinds of stuff. But it's a little rainy. So all we're going to do is get rid of any contaminant that's on here. And then I'm just going to wipe the window down. I want to do some... Uh, Griot's just glass polish and glass sealant really quick, but it's rainy so we're not going to do that today. But we're just going to get this out of the way. Uh, and the reason we're kind of fitting this in right now is because it's freezing in Ohio. But today it's not freezing, so we're going to do it today. So all of this is just clay lubricant, which there's not really huge science. All you have to do is go back and forth. And on the glass, since you can't really hurt it or scratch it with this, you can go as hard as you want, in my opinion. So, it doesn't feel super contaminated, I'll tell you that. But this will definitely clean, this will definitely clean if there's anything on it. And I would try to show you guys, but you're not going to be able to tell. So this is just quick. You can do this at home with a clay bar, or you can use this thing, uh, nano skin all scrub pad, which I'll put in the description. And then this is this is chemical guys clay luber, uh, but you can use any one's clay luber. You can use detail spray. You can use all kinds of stuff. So I'm just going to do that. This thing is dirty. It's like Jeep status. I hope you'll be able to tell the difference, because otherwise I don't know what I'm going to do. I will say normally I uh, have the car washed first, but I don't think it matters. I don't see why this matters, because the windshield wasn't that bad. So we're just going to go straight to the clay bar. I don't really see the deal. This is not going to be, this is just to clear up a couple of little frustrations here. Glass cleaner. Um, I know it's raining, but I want to get the, uh, there's going to be streaks all over it. Do some Adams glass cleaner. I, I like Adams, but it's not any different than regular. Just don't use Windex. It, Windex is hard to deal with. And I have a... What's wrong with Windex? Windex has ammonia in it a lot of times and uh, it's aggressive, so especially for the inside of the windshield, I guess the outside doesn't really matter, but Windex to me is more of almost an all-purpose cleaner. It's more aggressive, it'll, if you had grease, which you won't on here, it could potentially help you clean grease, which to me says it's too aggressive to use near the paint, unless you're really careful. So all I'm just doing is this doesn't have any, so you could use this on the inside, for example, if you have tinting. So I never use Windex. Plus, it's harder to work with, in, in my opinion. So it feels silly wiping this, but <laughs> just wipe it. If there's any streaks, you're gonna wipe them. If there is anything, it might be on the inside. Any chance? No? You didn't sneeze all over the windshield or something? No splooging on the windshield. <laughs> this is one of the few things you can actually do in a, when it's rainy. Yeah. Even though it'll be rainy on it. But. So this is, I don't know if I said this is a waffle weave towel. Waffle weave's good for windows a lot of times, and I also have the uh, glass towel, which is extremely, extremely thin, but it leaves like no streaks. But 
it doesn't really matter right here just because it's raining, so I'm not really worried about that. As soon as you turn the wipers on, there might be some uh, water spots where, where there's black. It looks like maybe there is some, so I wonder if that's what you see. Let's see. So that's it. Alright guys, so here's a close-up. Windshield is looking great. Um, really no science behind it, but this was just a quick little sort of upkeep detail. You can do this obviously any time of year, but the worst part is when it's freezing. So we took care of this now. Links are in the description. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time.